No. Well, turnover and turmoil in the state's largest school district has dominated education headlines for weeks. But West Ada did pass its levy this week, and the district is trying to move forward. So tonight, Fox 9 invited interim superintendent Joe Yoakum in to talk about the future of West Ada. Joe, thanks for being with us on a Friday night. Joe. Appreciate You're welcome. About it. Glad to be here. So tell us, when the levy passed, was there a big resounding sigh of relief that that was <laughs> off the plate? Or how's the mood at the district office? Well, we're very pleased with the passage of of the levy and again I want to thank the patrons of West Ada School District for your support. Um, we have an excellent school district and uh, we're just grateful that uh, that our patrons recognize that and uh, and uh, came out in the numbers that we needed. Maybe put everything else aside and did what you hoped would do which is to vote on the levy itself and not the turmoil that was behind the last couple of weeks. And recognizing that this, this truly was an operational levy, it wasn't for anything extra, it was simply to continue uh, what we've been doing for the last several years in terms of school days and staffing, and uh, so we are, we are grateful for, for that. So here you go, you got that levy, you're heading towards the end of this year, and uh, what is first on your um, list of, of things to get done right away, and what's really biggest on the horizon for you guys, is it redistricting? Well, for me personally, uh, right now it's just uh, talking with a lot of the staff um, and uh, trying to really uh, put together um, uh, an organization plan at this time. Um, redistricting is a is a is a event that's occurring at the moment. We do have an uh, attendance committee of parents being led by Eric Exline that is meeting on a weekly basis to create new boundaries for the new schools that we will be opening up next year. So that is, that is a big process that's currently happening. What can parents know about the redistricting? Because it's not just you're opening up a new middle school next year and elementary school, and there's another middle school down in Star that's going to be opening up in the near future. Is the entire district going to see new boundaries? Are, are kids going to be changing schools as of next year? Does this go all the way from kindergarten to high school? Where, where do the boundary issues lie here? Well, the current attendance committee is looking at three three things in particular. It's the new Victory Middle School. It's that attendance zone. It's also Hillsdale Elementary, so it'll be that attendance zone. That's the new one on the uh, south side of the freeway. Correct. Okay. Uh, close to the intersection of Eagle and Amity, the, uh, the roundabout there. And then they are taking a look at um, moving some of the high school boundaries a little bit. As you may know, we are currently um, in the middle of an extensive remodel at Meridian High School. Mm -hmm. uh, we're uh, not only doing a remodel, but we're expanding capacity of Meridian High School. And we have two high schools that are very large. And so the goal is to uh, shift some boundaries so that we can start to balance out those high school enrollments. Uh, are you going to pursue the superintendent position permanently? And if not, uh, how's the process going to go? Uh, I personally am not. <laughs> I am. This is just uh, this is just temporary. Um, the process is has started. Um, our school board has um, started that process. Mm -hmm. A survey has been sent out to our staff members, mm -hmm. um, and they've been asked to start to provide some input as to what they'd like to see in the next superintendent mm -hmm. of West Ada School District, and. Uh, and uh, we will be sharing with the board uh, the, the results of that survey so far at the next board meeting. Will parents get involved? I think they will, yes. Um, that really remains to be kind of scheduled and kind of set up. Sure. But the last time around, um, back in 2004, I have been informed that there was a, there was a question and answer session hmm. at some of the high right. schools where parents could come in. So I'm thinking that we'd probably see something like that again of the, of the finalists when it comes to that time. Well, plenty going on in the West Ada School District. We wish you smooth sailing, we Joe. Do. We do. We do. Come Thanks back anytime. Let us know what's going on. Thank you. Joe, thank you.